Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here and welcome back to more Cool School. Last time, we started our adventure in Cool School High as it got turned into Ghoul School by the power of a giant terrifying skull that was actually a portal to the underworld and summoned a bunch of monsters as well as turned the teacher and students into monsters themselves. You might be wondering where I am. Well, we're outside the lunchroom and I'm hiding inside a locker because I know that the hall monitor is lurking around here somewhere. Or maybe not. Last time also, we had our first death, but I got to show off one of the best features about this Metroidvania. That's the fact that anytime you die and get a game over, you don't lose all your progress. The worst thing you ever have to do is just, you know, backtrack back to the room that you were stuck in or lost your, all your lives in. But hey, that's all, honestly like a really like niche thing to be upset about. It's a good thing you don't have to trek back through the entire game unless you uh, stop the game and turn the console off, in which case you do lose all your progress. But who cares about that? It's time for us to go into the lunchroom. Get into another food fight, unless the zombie is still dead. I think, yeah, the, the zombie stays dead even after you die, because it technically counts as a mini-boss, and all mini-bosses stay dead uh, throughout subsequent playthroughs. However, this little jerk is still kicking. He is the cause of many woes, but his big brother is nowhere to be seen because he was stuffed full of sandwiches. We're just gonna jump on over here, avoid the little guy like the plague, and actually, I need to get my spring shoes on. Ah, uh, I see. Uh, Tuesday's lunch. Uh, you know what? I, I think we know a way to give it a little bit more flavor. Let's add some sandwiches to the mix. Add a lot of sandwiches to the mix. Hmm. Maybe not sandwiches, maybe this? There we go. Had to gum up the works, that's what we had to do. Hop up over here, jump up here, and grab ourselves a golden apple. The golden apple is probably one of the most useful items in the entire game. It will basically reduce all damage that we take by half. So, for the most part, these little guys, they're not as much of a threat as more of a nuisance. There we go, need to take out that burner. Get out of here! Honestly, aside from getting the uh, the sandwich, the lunchroom is completely optional. The only reason you want to continue through it is to get the golden apple. It's a very good reason to go through it, but still, you don't have to get the golden apple if you don't want to. Alright, so our next location here in the school is actually quite a ways away. We have to trek all the way to basically the far side of the school. And it's going to be a bit of a hike for us, but thankfully I know the way, uh, for the most part, I still have to consult my notes at times uh, going through here because this place is an absolute mess of a maze of a, look of a school. Seriously, I don't know if it was the, the monsters, the skull, and all that stuff that did it, but honestly, this is like one of the most complex school designs of any like game I have ever played. Also, I never really got into praising the sandwich as much as I did because the sandwich is actually one of the best weapons in the game. It has the range close to the Deweytron. It can also drop down and hit the small enemies that are close to the ground, but it also does about as much damage as the towel does. So it, honestly, it's like the jack of all trade weapons uh, for you to have. All right, so we're gonna hop down here, keep going down this way. And I messed up. I don't want to go this way. I want to go the other way. I need trade blows with this guy. There we go. Get through here, and we should have a way to get to our next location. I might actually be wrong, and we actually are going to be doing a lot more backtracking than I initially thought. And knowing how my luck goes and how much of a mess this place can be at times, that is definitely the case. I messed up big time. Man, who built this school? Alright, well, I completely screwed up on that. Where we actually need to go is we need to go about back to where the library was. Jerk. Just gonna. Ah, 
hate you little jerks. You're the worst. I, I swear, they just love to bully me. Here, have some sandwiches. You look hungry. But not as hungry as I am. Honestly, though, I, I feel like the sandwich is a weird weapon to, well, be classified as a weapon and not, like, a, a health pickup. Just because, I mean, it's a, it's a sandwich. Oh god, not you. You wouldn't think throwing sandwiches at someone would be, like, a, a, a very, like, powerful attack. You would think that, oh, maybe it would be kind of like a med kit or, like, it, uh, just like a health pickup that you can use multiple times before it runs out. And it's, like, a very niche thing to want to save to... Uh, for a very specific part or a very specific boss fight, but no, it, it's just a really good weapon in this game. I guess Spike just likes to eat healthy, which, you know what? Good for him. Maybe it'll help grow his hair back. Head through here. Drop down here, and I missed my turn. What? I, I think I might be a little bit lost. Yes, I am. I missed my turn. Am I? Okay, I think I'm... Okay, we're at the library. So, I'm trying to remember where all we need to go. So, I need to go... Here and then head up. That was right. Yeah, eat that. How do you like it? I'm actually gonna get the disintegrator out just so that uh, way I can just get them at a, a bit of lower arc. Just because the little guy's dying one hit. sandwich back out. It actually probably would have been best if I had waited to die after we got ourselves a golden apple because that way it would have just saved me a little bit of a headache trying to backtrack through the school. Because then at least we'd be able to start the entrance and I would know exactly where I need to go and not get a little bit turned around by some of these locations. Right, just gotta get through this room, go down one, and then we'll be right on track. Also, I like the fact that uh, if you're wearing the spring shoes and go inside a locker, Spike's head just phases right through the wall because he's too tall to fit in the locker. I don't know why, that, it's always been a funny detail that I uh, take notice of. far. Completely missed those stairs right there. So now that we're in this hallway, we need to just keep going our way until we get to another uh, roadblock. There we go, take care of him. up here. And then we got this jerk flying right above us. Which, one sandwich will do him in for good. But the way they're chomping their jaws, I figured that they were pretty hungry, so I, of course I was going to feed the bats. Alright, so head down here. Doing more of these jerks. And we're gonna head down uh, through this hallway, and I believe th this should be where we need to go next. Okay, yeah, so that's where we wanna go. Not just yet, though. So we keep going on down. And here's where we need to go. So we get our spring shoes out. 
do a lot of hopping. Avoid these guys like the plague. And while it's best that we got the golden apple to reduce the damage that these guys constantly give us, I uh, we still don't need the apple to just get through here. But welcome to the auto shop. I didn't know that a school actually had an auto shop. I know that my school used to have a wood shop, but auto shop? Oh well. Now, the very obvious uh, joke with these guys is actually their official name in this game, which, uh, yes, they are called Grease Monkeys. I, I don't know, they're adorable. I kind of like them. Even if some of them are a bit of a pain to hit, especially that one right there. But, go over here, and now we got the uh, Claw Climber shoes from Banjo-Tooie. Yeah, Rare took a lot of inspiration from this game for their shoe abilities in Banjo-Tooie, I'm coming to realize. I, I need to get the... Disintegrator out. I need to get a right angle for him, and I can't do anything, so I think we're just gonna need to pop up over him. Oh, right. I can just walk right in front of the cars. I don't know why it was blocking me off the last couple times. Hmm. All right, so the suction shoes. I, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm dead. Uh, the suction shoes allow us to walk on the ceiling. It is the only way we're gonna be able to get out of this area, so we'll do that, and now, there we go, just casually walk on the ceiling. Let me get my sandwich back out, and also put my sneakers back on for the time being. Now, you would think that the, the hallway that we were in, uh, that was a green color, that's where we would want to go next, right? Unfortunately, no. This game really loves its backtracking, and the only way for us to uh, get there... ...to where we need to go next is, I believe, by going through this pathway. Actually, no. No, we don't. We want to go the other way. I'm, I'm constantly having to reference my notes for this because this game, again, very confusing to go through, especially if, if you were going through it blind! I didn't need a hand, good sir. I need food. Fruit. I mean, I got sandwiches. I could have used those, but no, I, I, I want my daily fruit intake. So, as I was going to say, uh, we don't want to go that way. We actually want to go up the stairs. Go up the stairs here. Deal with this little jerk. And welcome to a new location. You can tell because the background is a different color than it was before. I'm just going to tank damage from him. It. Uh, I will say, it is a blessing to have the gold apple on you. Because, again, to reduce damage, it takes four hits from those little guys to do one little bit of health to you. Hmm, yes, I see. Uh, apparently, the school's already been studying these guys because I already have an anatomy poster up about them. Ah, nurse, I seem to be a bit injured. Can you please help me? Oh, cool, I'll just take uh, your equipment. So, we got the Spinal Zap. Uh, the Spinal Zap is... The only thing I can really say what it is, is like an electric prod. It is a required weapon to have, because the there is a boss that is in the uh, light green room that we were in earlier. And the only way to hurt it was, well, we need to zap it. And I want to just get out of here without these little guys constantly bumping into me. I take it back, you guys are worse than the bats! Especially because they love to knock you back every time they hit you. And I don't believe that the sa uh, not the sandwiches, uh, uh, the apples respawn inside the classrooms. I can check real quick, but yeah, I think it's a one-time use thing. Yep. So, mentally mark of what classrooms you've already gone into to get your uh, apple, because if you get that one and you're in kind of a pinch, then you're kind of, well, SOL about getting it. Alright, so we need 
parcels. I believe it's... No, not the suction shoes just yet. What we need to do is die. And then, actually, what we need to do is get onto the stairs. Get high enough that we can get close enough to the ceiling. And there. Now we can walk over the, the massive... I don't even know what these things are. I messed up. I messed up big time. I forgot. We can't actually go over these things. We need another piece of equipment to get past them. And I stopped just short of the pathway, which, funny enough, is right next to the nurse's office where we got the spinal zap. Which means I get to deal with these guys again. I really wish I could jump high enough that I could stick to the ceiling and not have to deal with them whatsoever. But here's where we actually need to be. I guess the floor is supposed to be on fire or something, so we need the suction shoes to just walk right on over it. No biggie. The bat was trying to do something about it, but he got stuck in the ceiling, so hey, you know what? At least he's not a problem for me. Drop down here. Go into this puke green room because ugh, I, I hate it. And we got the, my favorite monster in here. It's just a little janitor dude. I want to hurt him. Oh god, no, it's mops attacking! Man, the clean standards in Ghoul School are just outrageous. The janitor wants to kill you, his equipment wants to kill you. I think I'm doing something wrong here. Can we zap him? In that case, we're just going to jump right on over him. Hello, Mozart. Hmm, yes, I see. Uh, is, is that a B-sharp or a B-flat? I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Zap. Oh, you actually were going to hit me. Alright, you know what? The heck with this. We're just going to run right through here. Ignore the music. We got a very unhappy flower. And only one thing to do. Some gardening. And that was it. <laughs> that was the boss of chemistry. Oh no, another one. Quick. These swords actually hurt a lot, so you want to be very careful, especially with the fact that the only way we can really hurt them is with the uh, sickle. Also, I don't know about you, am I the only one who thinks that the music here kind of reminds me of the spider theme from Rayman 2? Like, you hear it too, right? There we go. Just put a little bit of embalming fluid on that node, kills it right away. And yes, it, it, it's embalming fluid. Makes sense that's what we would get inside the... Right. That makes sense is what we would get inside the... Chemistry room. Alright, Humphrey, I'm gonna let you clean the hallways. You go and have fun. You look like you're having a good time here. Uh, you know what? I probably should get this off because, uh, knowing me, I probably just drop all the embalming fluid right onto the fire below and then I'm kind of screwed it as to get through in the next part. So, just mosey on our way through here. I believe you can actually- yeah, you can take him out with the embalming fluid, which has a bit of a shorter arc than the disintegrator does, so you can actually hit these guys a little bit easier, but I'm just gonna avoid this dude. Can't really do much about them. Once they close that distance, it's basically game over. They they are just going to be on you the entire time, and you have to just basically damage boost your way through them. I 
the worst thing about them is the fact that they push you back the way you want to go. And you think just turn your back to them and just like, uh, back dash away right through the hallway, but no, they just constantly will combo you and just keep bouncing you back and forth. And there's not a thing you can do about it. I went the wrong way. There we go. Alright. Back here for round two. Let's embalm this junk. If I can get that right angle. There we go. Oh, wait. Nope. I forgot it takes two drops of fluid to take these things out. Get our suction shoes on. Hop up over here. Just drop the fluid right on top of these guys. I don't even know what these things are supposed to be, like a, a mass of coral, a, a pile of guts, sentient gum. I, like, I seriously, I don't know what they are, but they hurt a lot, as you saw earlier. And here's the reason why the elevators weren't working. It, it, it's got a spine-tingling problem. But don't worry, I got a remedy for that. Also, zap. There we go. Looked almost kind of like a face hugger with the way it was freaking out like that. Alright. So now we got a bit of a pseudo uh, fast travel system in here. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Nope. Gotta keep going. Break it! Break it! There we go. Welcome to the rooftop! Uh, avoid the fans real quick. And welcome to the worst jump in the entire game that I just won and done like an absolute pro. Uh, Want to line ourselves up right here? No? Hmm. Oh, right. Suction shoes. I forgot what I'm supposed to do here. I think you do need to sort of trick jump this. Okay, kind of had to damage boost my way through this. And then die. Cool. I swear, each video is just going to end with me dying. It's like one of those anthology things. Alright. Well, we did make a lot of progress this time, so I think this is probably a good place to end things off. Next time on Ghoul School... We'll explore the rooftops, and hopefully I can get uh, past that flagpole and get down to the next area. And hopefully we can wrap up this adventure and uh, save the school. See you guys next time. Later.